see the true and false or boolean's, and they're represented internally as bits, zero or one. And so you can actually do math with them. I recommend ignoring that for now and just treating them as true and false um, because it's a lot simpler. So you can compare them to one another and you can compare them in a mathematical sense, but I recommend just keeping it true. So here I'm showing you if, and I'm showing you how you can optionally add a else. But there's one other thing you can do. So let's say I wanted to do this. Let's say I say it's greater than a five, less than a five. So I've changed this thing to greater than. So if I put in six, it says, hey, it's greater than a five. And if I put in a four, it says, hey, it's less than a five. But if I put in five exactly, it's going to give me something that may not be exactly right. Now, it's correct. It's doing what you told it to do, but it may not be what you want to have happen. So what we have here is a test. Is five bigger than five? The answer, of course, is no. The problem is <coughs> down here, we have less than five. Yeah. 